people at? All the Nigerian people. Make some noise, you got a Nigerian English teacher. How are you supposed to take notes? The Nigerian people, you can't never hear the end of what they saying. All their words start off big. The longer the sentence goes, the smaller the words get. You know, he being glad. And this is the first time that I show you right now what I have told you. You think something wrong with your hearing. You're like, what the fuck? You be asking, what did you say at the end? I told you when you came here right now that I did not know. And financial wage, y'all niggas can kiss a dick too, motherfucker. Nigga, how long do it take for my paperwork to get right? I need my refund check with your goof ass. All right? Stop acting like you don't know my fucking name on that list. What the Mexican do with no hat win? Where your fucking hat at, bruh? I don't trust this nigga, bro. Y'all watch him. He's gonna be stealing all the black girls. Oh, yeah. What? We might have to jump him. He be stealing our women. Where you from, bro? You Palestinian? Let me quit fucking with you before you blow this bitch up. Then call his uncle. What the fuck did he say? What did he say? No, he don't embarrass my family. What do he say? I bloody bitch. Congratulations. Uh, um, good try. I'm 26 with a master's degree. That's coming December 4th, 14 at 9 a.m. Yeah, well, nigga, I'm 30 and I'm rich. Congratulations, motherfucker. Fuck wow. what you talking about. Hey, DC. Appreciate you, uh, all five of y'all. Uh, but whenever I come to a HBCU, man, I always like to let it be known that I'm a product of a HBCU. And I know everybody that's sitting in here got some type of goal or some type of dream or some type of vision. Let me tell you something, man, I come from nothing. I grew up with nothing and everything that I got, I made myself, but I made it right out of a building just like this one y'all sitting in right now. And everybody that's sitting here, we got a special type of power, man. It ain't usually that black people get to get together like this and build, man. We got the greatest energy on this planet. So y'all utilize that energy while y'all here and make the best out of this shit and get out in the world and be great, my nigga. Cause they try to play us like we ain't shit, but we the greatest of, we the greatest period. So know that. Uh, I got our contestants, and I think we're ready to start the show off. Miss B. Simone can't okay, see let me him. See my husband. No, you can't see him. All right? So, this right here is Find You a Boo, Fam You. All right? Ooh. Find You Ooh. a Boo, the Fam You edition. Ooh. Homecoming 2018. Princess in the front. <laughs> and, and, and you she are. Won. Imani Hydea Cooper, the 112 Miss Florida Agricultural <laughs> and Mechanical. Hell yeah. Yeah. Let go. God damn. Give it up. Whoa. You just said that shit. And yeah. you are, don't sit down. Who are you? Miles Millsap, the 19th Miss of Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. Yeah, yeah. All right. Time out, time out, time out, everybody. This nigga forgot who he is. Hey, man. He said the 19th Florida Agricultural and Technical University. You the 19th <laughs> what, nigga? What are you? 19th, Mr. Fam, you. Shout out to the good bros, 06. Shout out to the gay bros. Is that oh, what you mean? Oh, that's not what that man is. Hey, hey, don't say what he said. Hey, I'll find her. How are you, beautiful? You got the money. Wow. Damn, didn't she just hear you say you was rich? She said, do I got the money? So all it takes is some money to get that pussy? For real? Wow. <laughs> What's your cash app? Money. 
What's the cash app? I'ma send you the money. I said, hold up. What? If that's I all it take is a couple of dollars for you to come to my place and put Aye. some booty on my face, Aye. let me hit that. Aye. Nigga, send the money, Aye. let them hit Homecoming, fam, you. HBCU homecoming, nigga. Shooting everybody. They go to school to study guns. Sit your ass down. Detroit people? Detroit? Yeah, okay, all right, got down. Detroit got houses with no house. They just got porches. They be on the porch waiting. Like the house gonna show up later on. Shout your ass out of here. All my Atlanta people. Georgia. Ooh. Ooh, let's do it. Let's do it now. I like it. I'm probably missing people. Where the goddamn uh, Patty Foot people at? Yeah. Don't nobody believe y'all leaving in school. You show them pictures, they like, you locked up, ain't you? What is this? What can be posted? In the room, this goddamn big. You, you gotta help your roommate get in the bed. Oop. And the shit is. <laughs> oh, man. Now, fam, you're the only place where people go to school, change clothes three times a day. <laughs> and the shit be fresher than before. These motherfuckers got Beyonce wardrobe changes in the middle of the day. Look, I'm trying to let them know, man, for real. It's good to be out here, man. We got a new president. That ain't who I'm rocking with. I miss Obama, man. Let's get Obama a round of applause just for him. Showing me how to live my life the right way. For real. Obama taught me how to talk to women. For real, fellas, you get in trouble, you answer questions too goddamn fast. That's so why you get in trouble. You come home late, your girl start asking you questions. Where were you? Who are you with? Do you know what time it is? And you just start making all me and uh, Charles Reed went to the zoo, and then we got stuck at the zoo. No, slow that shit down. I talk to my girl like I'm the president of the United States. 
I, I put it on my pace. She asked me them questions. Where were you? Who are you with? Do you know what time it is? I just show up. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. First of all, uh, before I begin, uh, I'd like to start by saying, uh, I pay the bills in this motherfucker. All right. No, 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 I understand. I understand you got questions. I want to get you some answers. Uh, seems to me, uh, you want to know where I was. Mm, that's a good question. I can see why you want to know the answer. I uh, just want to make sure we're clear on the same page. So what you're trying to figure out is where was I? Uh, well, I'll have you know, I was out. Now I'm back. No further questions. Then you walk off. Walk the fuck off. Go think of some more lies. You ain't got to do your press conference immediately. Did I shout out all my, uh... Oh, Miami, I'm sorry, man. God damn, man. God damn. How I forgot y'all. I don't even know what you, hey. Hey, Miami, when y'all start playing them songs, y'all be playing too. I just leave. Cause I don't know what none of stick, 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 what? I ain't know what that meant. I was like, hey, hold on. I don't want to see no sticks. Don't pull no stick out on me. Future has stick talk. What stick we talking about? I rock with y'all. Who else I'm missing? You gotta say it. I can't hear you. You gotta hold on, hold on. New York, I heard New York up there. Yeah. Yeah, get y'all ass out of here, man. Y'all ain't never drove before. Wanna come down here and get a license? Show ass off the road. They be speeding because they got on them heavy ass Timberlands. Shit, son, I gotta get where I'm going, B. Shit is crazy, son. Motherfuckers put both blinkers on. I could go either way, son. She's crazy. Soft health above, son. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. New York people, make sure you know where they from. Hold on. You said Broward? Okay, there you go with the little crap. I should've known. Well, ain't that where Kodak from? Yeah. I was at the little block party last night. They played Kodak. They started shooting. I thought it was part of the song. I'm too old to be out. I couldn't even get low. Everybody dropped down. I was like, well, they could just go after hitting me. That shit is... Could have walked to the car. <laughs> Can't be running and jumping over shit. This shit out of hand. All right. Any overseas people? Anybody from another country? Where are my African people at? All the Nigerian people. Make some noise, you got a Nigerian English teacher. How are you supposed to take notes? Them Nigerian people, you can't never hear the end of what they saying. All they words start off big. The longer the sentence goes, the smaller the words get. You know, he being glad. And this is the first time that I show you right now what I have told you. You think something wrong with your hearing. You're like, what the fuck? You be asking, what did you say at the end? I told you when you came here right now that I did not hear. You don't know what to write on the nose. All your notes in, dot, dot, dot. I don't know what to say. It's that little sign, but figure out what he said at the end. Well, I'm just playing, all right. Look, man, uh, fam, you, this place is very special. It's super awesome because not only is it, no, no, for real, not only is it people that's going to lead the future, and it's, it's people here see talent in other people. And that's what helped me. Everybody told me I needed to do comedy. Stan, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to go about doing that. But people here believed in me before I even believed in me. So this place always got a special place in my heart. And I just wanted the goddamn 85 South show to see how dope this shit actually was. Because I don't think they actually believe me. And I think y'all finna show them right now. If you can make a lot of noise right now. More noise than you'd have made all goddamn night. Make a lot of noise right now. Let them feel the energy all the way in the back. All the way in the back. Let them feel the energy. Who I'm bringing up? Is it? Wait a minute. All right. Okay. Yeah. See, what that mean? It's a dance or some shit to go with that? Y'all gotta show me, man. Y'all gotta show me, man. 
That's just y'all little call. I don't know what y'all doing either. Do it one more time. Is it whoa? I can't do it. You see how deep my voice is? I smoke too much weed for that. Stop. Hold on. Hey, hey, I didn't say that. I don't smoke weed. I don't keep more weed on me than I can eat. Let's do this. Right now, y'all ready? Very funny dude coming to the stage. Y'all make all the noise. You'd have seen this man everywhere. You'd have seen him on MTV. You'd have seen him on Wildin' Out. Probably one of the dopest motherfuckers that I know. And you got him in the building right now. Show your love. Make a lot of goddamn noise. Make a lot of noise right now. Right goddamn now for my dog, Chico B. Pull up at your mama house and put some rounds in Where the nigga block and watch them niggas drown in it Honey, we don't drown, get the nigga down with I'm on that slaughter gang shit, murder gang shit Yeah! Murder gang shit, I'm on that slaughter gang shit Murder gang shit, murder gang shit Cut it off, cut it off, cut it off, fuck that, it's homecoming fam, you what's up? Look at all y'all niggas in here, boy. This shit is dope. I love you too, baby. How you doing with the crown on in the front? Man, I fuck with fam you, man. Listen, man, this is my second time here. I came here like two years ago. But every time I come, this shit make me realize just how dope this HBCU is, man. So make some noise for yourself. I went to an HBCU, so I know how tough it is to make it in one of these motherfuckers, man. First of all, I went to Winston-Salem State in North Carolina. And I don't know if y'all know this, if you ever been to any other HBCU, don't feel bad, fam, you. All HBCUs is in the hood, nigga. Every last one you go to. But this one right here, nigga. I fucked around and was on Houghton Street at that gas station. Oh my God. How the fuck do you niggas learn at this motherfucker? It was crackheads everywhere. I'm like, nigga. Do they go to school here or do they just live in the community? What the fuck is going on? I don't know why they set us up like that and put all the HBCUs in the middle of the ghetto and expect us to be safe. You can't be safe with crackheads all on campus, locals and shit. Don't nothing be worse than the local niggas that be, oh my God. Well, ladies, ladies don't make too much noise. One of y'all done got caught by one of them niggas. You done fucked the local. One of y'all done gave some locals some pussy. One of y'all did. You mad in the motherfucker you did too. You thought that nigga really was a baller. Nope. That nigga work on Holton Street at the gas station. You gave your pussy away for nothing. Shit is crazy, man. All the pressure they put us under at these HBCUs. They give you a little bit of money to get real food at the beginning of the semester. You use all that shit the first week. Now you gotta eat them calf eggs and shit on yourself every third hour of the day. What the fuck are they putting in the eggs and the calf at HBCUs, nigga? First of all, them shits be chunky like motherfucking donuts. You be like, nigga, what kind of eggs is these? This shit thick like pound cake, nigga, I don't know. Then they got the motherfuckers that work in the calf. Oh my God. Them motherfuckers look like they supposed to be at the Waffle House, nigga. I swear to God. Them calf workers, boy. Nigga be missing teeth and all that shit. Be like, nigga, nah, don't scoop my eggs, toothless man. I don't want you slob on my bacon. Nigga, get your loose mouth ass away from my tray, nigga. HBCU problems. And no disrespect, I respect what y'all do, but I say this, you know, with all due respect to all of y'all that's in here, I appreciate you doing your job, but fuck campus police. I'm sorry, I gotta say it. I gotta say it. Why the fuck do y'all take y'all job so seriously? They don't even let y'all in the real jail, nigga. You got to drop me off at the front if you lock me up. Keep taking me to that goofy ass holding cell on campus. Nigga, this ain't no holding cell. And parking's supposed to be free. Why the fuck do they keep doing this shit? Parking is supposed to be free. Nigga, I pay a million dollars a year to go to this bitch. And you mean tell me I can't leave my car nowhere? That shit like, hey, that is shit like God's plan with different words, nigga. Why is campus police always fucking with me? 
I pay my tuition, why it's park and not free? For real, man, shit is ridiculous. In financial wage, y'all niggas can kiss a dick too, motherfucker. Nigga, how long do it take for my paperwork to get right? I need my refund check with your goof ass, all right? Stop acting like you don't know my fucking name on that list, bitch. You acting like you got an attitude with me. Motherfucker, it's my money. Get my goddamn money. Got me standing all in line all along and shit. Acting like you don't know what the fuck I'm in here for. Can I help you, sir? Yeah, bitch, you can help me. Give me my money. Shit is ridiculous, man. Letting you know, fam, you I feel y'all pain. Going to an HBCU is tough, man. They act like they don't know why we need that fucking money. We need that money. And I feel sorry, if you ain't got your refund check yet by homecoming, nigga, it's gonna be a long week. You ain't gonna know what to do at the door, at the party. And to all you niggas that go here that's throwing the parties this week, uh, bitch ass nigga, stop acting like you don't go to class with me every first and second Thursday, nigga. Motherfucker get to the door and act like he don't know you. Be like, what's good, bro? Yeah, uh, 35, bro, it's gonna be 35. My bitch ass nigga, we... Because people don't understand the pressure of being an HBCU student, man, I do. Like, HBCU broke is a different type of broke. It ain't white college broke. They got regular shit like Chick-fil-A's and all types of shit on campus. Y'all got a Chick-fil-A? Word? Oh, nigga, y'all turned up out this motherfucker then. I was, I, I didn't never think I would see a Chick-fil-A on an HBCU campus. You know why? Because it's niggas here. And if I was in school and there was a Chick-fil-A on my campus, bitch, you wouldn't have been able to tell me it was closed on Sunday. I'd be in that motherfucker frying the shit out chicken on Sunday. Nigga, lock the door. They ain't gonna catch us, nigga. Get some of them patties. But college broke a different broke, because even if y'all do got a Chick-fil-A on campus, you just swiped all your money away in a week and a half, so you can't buy nothing. And that's the thing, college broke is a different type of broke, especially HBCU broke. Like HBCU broke, I had you asking God for shit you know you're not supposed to ask him for. You be in the calf like, God, my Lord and Savior God. Please don't let them see me put this chicken breast in my pocket, God. Please don't let the grease soak through my jeans when I'm jogging back to my dorm room, God. You be in the bookstore like, God, my Lord and Savior God. Please don't let them see me rip these three pages I need for this quiz out this book for the mom. Cause I'd be goddamn if I'm gonna pay $650 for a book I'ma use one time. Then when I take that motherfucker back, they gonna give me 38 cents for it. Suck my dick, bitch. The worst part be when you call home, though. That place that you thought you wanted to get away from. It seemed like your people's be happy as hell you ain't there no more, don't it? Like, that shit crazy. I used to hate calling home. Like, first of all, my mother never cooked when I was in, like, never when I was at home. She never cooked. As soon as I go to college, she'd want to turn into fucking Gordon Ramsay and start cooking every day. I used to hate calling home because I was in college struggling like a lot of y'all, like most of us is. I used to call home like, Mom, what you doing? Oh, nothing, baby. Just baking some turkey wings and some macaroni and cheese and some honey butter biscuits. I'm like, Mom, put the phone in the oven, please. Your son down here struggling. Shit is important, man. The dorm rooms be fucked up. Nigga, ain't nothing like staying in a freshman dorm. I remember the freshman dorms my freshman year, nigga. First of all, I don't know how we managed to get bathroom so nasty, nigga, but I don't know if it's like this at FAMU. Let me see how real this shit is down here. Nigga, do y'all have the shower curtains with the mold and shit on the bottom? Oh my God. I remember my freshman year, true story, I was taking a shower with one of the moldy shower curtains and a nigga walked past too fast and that bitch stuck to my leg, nigga. I was like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> my leg got AIDS now, nigga. I gotta cut my leg off. Scrub the shit out my leg trying to get that mold. And you would think that it would just be the boys' dorms that be nasty, but hell no. Nah. Ladies, y'all, woo. I heard y'all got one here called Patty Foot, nigga, that's real fucked up. I don't know what y'all be doing. You go to that freshman dorm, it look like bitches just be slinging pussy on the wall like Spider-Man, just, ha, there it is. 
Hand tie, pussy juice on the wall. Yeah, tie. You be like, nigga, is that a string of pussy juice that I see? How did she manage to get it in a straight line like that? She must be a professional. One thing I will say about FAMU is that y'all got some of the most beautiful women in the f Like, I, I done been to HBCUs all over the country. I done been to all of them damn near. And I mean this, I, I'm not saying it just because I'm here. I think fam, you got the baddest ones out of all of them. Yeah, like you, sweetheart, look at you. How you doing? Ah, damn. You so pretty, I beat my dick to your student ID picture. Like, oh. Oh, shit. Oh, I bet you get good grades. Oh, yeah, you got a 3.9, don't you? Oh, you look like you ran for Miss something and won with your pretty ass. I'm very not all on your face on this card. Pretty ass motherfucker. This type of nigga I'm is. But ladies, I'm gonna tell y'all something, especially all y'all beautiful black women in this building tonight, man. Let me tell y'all something. Listen, ladies, learn to love yourself first, all right? Stop waiting on niggas to validate who and what you are. Learn to love yourself first. That's the best thing you can do. And stop letting Instagram shape your idea of what a beautiful woman is. That shit ain't real. It's still successful men like myself that like real women. I pay, I love a real woman. And I pay attention to detail too. Like for example, bitch, if your bra and panties match every day, you ain't the bitch for me. I'm sorry. That means you ain't never rushing to class or nothing. You mean to tell me you ain't never got no Victoria's Secret bra and no Hanes panties on, bitch? Oh no, you ain't the type of you ain't the type of girl I need. You don't work hard enough, ho. You too worried about who see your underclothes, bitch. Fuck around with you. I'm telling you, ladies, that shit y'all see on Instagram ain't real. I'm famous. I'm around all them bitches you see with all them followers. They is not living like that. I went over this bitch house, she got six million followers. This bitch sleeping on a pallet. Do you know what a pallet is, fam you? That's when you lay the sheets on the floor. You gotta sit down three times to get on this bitch bed. It's like, ah, 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 all right. I'm down here now, bitch, we gotta fuck. I can't believe you made me tear my ACL to come over here and get this poor ass pussy. Hell wrong with you, I thought you had followers. You be posting tea and shit, bitch. You need to post a bed frame, ho. Making y'all think y'all gotta do dumb shit, ladies, like get ass shots. You don't need no ass shots. You got a pussy, you win. God has given you all the tools you need to succeed. And I don't think it's fair, ladies. I'm gonna speak on it. I don't think it's fair on behalf of all the fellas. I don't think it's fair that y'all get to go add 14, 15 inches to your ass and expect us to still give you pleasure with the dick God gave us. That ain't fair. My dick was big as a motherfucker last week. Now you talking about, I can't feel it. I bet you can't. You done put a love seat between me and the pussy. I can't get to it now. And you don't know what the long-term effects of them big asses is, fellas. Them shits look good now, but these hoes got all types of shit in their ass, nigga. Cement, jello, calf eggs, nigga. It's all types of shit in these bitches' ass. Look good now, but in 10 years, that whole ass gonna drop like a mixtape, nigga. You gonna be mad as a motherfucker. She gonna need a bra for her breast and her ass. She gonna be cursing her out around the house. Bitch, put your ass bra on so we can go to the movies like a real couple. Stop dragging that motherfucker around the house. I just got the copy cleaned. And I'm just saying, ladies, everything ain't for everybody. It's homecoming week, man. It's gonna be a lot of shit going on this week. But if you learn to love what's for you, you won't get caught up in a lot of bullshit. Like, for example, if you can't handle your liquor this week, ladies, just be careful, all right? Don't nobody want to see your pretty ass in the club with your shoes off, tampon string hanging out, and you the fucking... Nobody want to see that shit, ladies. Learn, learn what's for you. Everything ain't for everybody. Everybody ain't got to be drunk. And I'm going to say some shit that I know might offend some of y'all that's in here, but fuck it, it got to be said. That going natural shit is not for everybody, ladies. I'm sorry. No disrespect. Some of y'all look good with it. Some of y'all look good with it, but whew, some of y'all, who? Some of y'all be looking like you got holding street grass on your head, bitch, you. I'm just saying, ladies, at least consult your man before you do this shit. You been getting perms since you was in the third grade. You don't know what your real texture of hair look like no more. And you can't come to my house one day looking like the Dr. Miracle Box and then come back the next day with the motherfucking Kodak Black and just expect me to let you in. Hell no. Hell, you done did. 
And weave ain't for everybody either, ladies. If you're gonna get you some weave, get you some bundles. Some of that Malaysian, Asian, Kabbalasian shit. Don't get that pack here. That shit for little girl box braids, and that's it. And be honest about the fact that you got weave. Don't just get comfortable with a nigga and fucking come out the bathroom and scare the shit out the whole house. That ain't fair. I had this girl do that shit to me one time. She done took her weave off and came out, nigga, her real ponytail looked like a zip drive. I was like, damn, bitch. You got a Jolly Rancher sitting on top of your shit. You need to cut that, hoe. What's wrong with you? All I'm saying is it's homecoming. Don't get tricked out your coochie this week, ladies. Don't. A lot of these niggas just look like they got money. These niggas got baller costumes on. It's not real. True story. You fuck him if you want to, because he got on a thousand dollar outfit and a bottle of Moet in the club. You're gonna be mad as hell come Monday morning when you check that nigga Instagram and see him in that Waffle House uniform with workflow under the picture. You're gonna be like, oh my God. You're gonna be on the phone with your homegirl. Keisha, if I tell you something, you gotta swear to God, you ain't gonna tell nobody else. Remember that nigga I fucked out to the club, girl? This nigga work at the Waffle House. No wonder them eggs he made was so good. This nigga's a professional. And fellas, piece of advice I can get to y'all, man. If anything, this is a nigga that went to a HBCU and lived through what y'all done lived through. Listen, man, learn to be honest. Keep it 100, man. It's the best thing you can do. Like, watch this, watch this. Ladies, make some noise if you just want a nigga to be 100 with you and keep it 100. All right, well, let me ask y'all a question then, ladies. Why the fuck y'all get so mad when a nigga tell you the truth then, if that's what you want? I don't understand. I don't understand. Ladies, if you want the truth, you gotta be able to take it. You gotta be able to take it. What you say? You gotta start with the truth. I agree, you gotta start with the truth. But listen. Fellas, the reason why I'm telling y'all this is because these ladies is slick than a motherfucker. It's not that they don't like lies, they just don't like getting told them. Because these motherfuckers lie better than we ever could, nigga. Guaranteed. Ladies, y'all so good, you'll start lying to a nigga right now about some shit you gonna do next homecoming. That's how good y'all is. All y'all friends know the plan and everything. Shit don't make no sense. And I'm telling you, fellas, like, women are way more slicker than you can ever think. Like, if, if you heard that new Carter Five, Wayne tell you on Mona Lisa just how slick these bitches can be. Especially if you talk about what you gonna do to the pussy and then don't do that, ooh wee. It get ugly. And then the crazy thing is, ladies, we tell stupid lies, y'all tell wicked lies. This is the type of lie a nigga tell. Where the fuck was you at last night? Did, yeah. I died and I seen I missed your call and came back to life because we was going to the show to my, oh, my mama I died. We'd say some shit like that. Ladies, y'all tell wicked lies. These are the type of lies y'all tell. Oh, yes. Oh, daddy. Oh, it feels so good. Oh. Oh, shit. This your pussy. Oh, this your pussy. Yes. Oh, shit. It's in my stomach. Oh, my God. It's in my stomach. No, the fuck it's not, fellas. You be in there believing that shit, too. Yeah, it's in her stomach, nigga. I got appetite dick. No, you don't. The stomach is up here, young nigga. You do not have enough dick to reach up here. And if you was hitting her to which she felt like it was in her stomach, she would not be able to tell you in a complete sentence, nigga. You fucking a bitch like that, she gonna be like, <coughs> oh, 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 shit. Oh, take some more, why you fucking me like that? You ain't never heard that, fellas? Your bitch is a liar. And then they keep the lie going. They keep it going. They be like, oh my God, oh shit, oh. Oh, I'm so sleepy, oh my God. I might miss my eight o'clock in the morning fucking with you, big man. And niggas still be believing that shit, yeah. I done fucked the education out this bitch. She don't even want to work no more because of this dick. She hit you with the text me when you get back to your room. Soon as you walk out the door, first thing she do is pick that phone up and get in that group chat where all her homegirls, nigga, and tell all your business. Girl, you ain't gonna believe this nigga came over here talking about he was gonna do to my pussy, pull this dick out, it looked like a salt and pepper shaker, bitch. I was like, oh, what you gonna do with that little man? What you gonna season the pussy? Get your little dick ass out of here, little short dick ass nigga. That's how they talk about you, fellas. But ladies, I'm gonna tell y'all something. You, this is not gonna be popular opinion, but it's y'all fault we lie. It's y'all fault. 
Cause y'all lie to us about us. And then act like you mad when a nigga start believing the lie that you tell. Think about it. Like I'll give you a perfect example of how y'all lie, ladies. And how fucked up this is that y'all do this and get mad at us cause we full of shit when y'all full us up with the shit that we full of. Watch this. Real quick experiment on behalf of Chico Bean and FAMU Homecoming. All my niggas in the building make some noise. All right. Now I need all my niggas in the building at FAMU that got a little dick to make some noise. Yep. That's what I thought. Now watch this. Ladies, make some noise if it's some little dick niggas at fam you. One of y'all bitches about to get beat the fuck up. Who what the fuck you talk about? You said it was in your stomach. Oh. Now who fault is it that we lying? Ain't no nigga make no noise, but all y'all made noise. So either y'all ain't telling niggas they shit little, or you lying. So ladies, which one is it? Exactly, so shut the fuck up, I'll get lied too, goddammit. But I'm about to get out of here, because we got a dope show on deck for y'all, but I want to leave y'all with something that's very, very important to me doing homecoming. You know what I'm saying? This is very important to me. Like, I'm from Washington, D.C., born and raised in D.C. Appreciate you, uh, all five of y'all. Uh, but whenever I come to a HBCU, man, I always like to let it be known that I'm a product of a HBCU. And I know everybody that's sitting in here got some type of goal or some type of dream or some type of vision. Let me tell you something, man, I come from nothing. I grew up with nothing and everything that I got, I made myself, but I made it right out of a building just like this one y'all sitting in right now. And everybody that's sitting here, we got a special type of power, man. It ain't usually that black people get to get together like this and build, man. We got the greatest energy on this planet. So y'all utilize that energy while y'all here and make the best out of this shit and get out in the world and be great, my nigga. Cause they try to play us like we ain't shit, but we the greatest of, we the greatest period. So know that, know that, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to do, like I did a lot of shit in college I didn't think I was going to do. I joined a fraternity, I didn't think I would ever do no shit like that. I'm a street nigga, I didn't think I could be able to do no shit like that. But I did it, I'm an alpha, I'm an alpha for those who want to know. Salute to all the alphas uh, in here. Is the alphas cool on campus? Cool, that's what it is. Y'all niggas be a little too cool sometimes though, bro. Like, you niggas cannot dress up sometimes, nigga. You niggas will wear hard bottoms to play basketball. Like, bruh, chill, what the fuck? Shit don't make no sense. Kappas, any Kappas in the building? They don't fuck with you. Why they let you sit by yourself, nigga? What the fuck? Ah, damn, yeah, you the only one in here, nigga. Noops, fuck with noops, nigga. You niggas love to wear flip-flops, don't you, boy? You, you put your regular shoes on today, but you love them rainbow flip-flops, don't you, nigga? That move is so sensitive, nigga. Y'all niggas break out with that shit. Ooh. I mean, this nigga is twerking in the club. Sigmas? Any Sigmas in here? Oh, uh, no Sigmas? Oh, nigga, you came with us. Put your fucking hands down. You don't go here. What the hell wrong with you? Them niggas be too aggressive with that. They call and shit. They call is fucking ridiculous. Blue fire, you know, no nigga, I don't know. And why the fuck are you yelling at me? Cues. I love y'all shit, my nigga. Sound like you getting your dick sucked and she doing it good. But how old is that? All right. Deltas. She don't fuck with y'all. 
AKAs. Yeah. Y'all don't even realize that the K's is saying skeet in they name, in they name, nigga. Every time I used to run up on a K, I'd be like, baby, I was wondering if you would make me skeet. Zetas? All right, you've been waiting to do that all day, haven't you? Uh, S.G. Rose? She said, Hurr! Sound like you eat pussy with that tongue, ma'am. Just playing. Just playing. When I called all them organizations out and say all of this, man, to just say again, man, fam, you, I love y'all. My name is Chico Bean. And listen, man, this is the dopest shit in the world, being at an HBCU and attending one and graduating from one and going to one and partying and living, this is the best shit ever. Y'all part of that, man. Salute to y'all. Happy homecoming, fam, you. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all thought I was leaving. Psych, bitch. This shit about to be lit, lit, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Now, I'm about to bring my partner up to the stage, man. My motherfucking brother, man. The coldest nigga doing this shit right now. Y'all about to see him. You know what I mean? If you watch Wildin' Out, you know we do the old school battle. If you watch the 85 South Show, you know the nigga's the motherfucking anchor of the team. But if you're in this building right now, and fam, you at homecoming, you about to see him right here live on this stage. So fam, you, I need y'all to stop making some noise. Stop making some noise. Stop making some noise. I'm about to bring my nigga to the stage right now. So I need all of y'all niggas in here to get loud. My nigga about to come up here and ride the damn stage. And I already think y'all niggas know his damn name. He out of Mississippi and he be fucking with me. My nigga got them jokes and I swear you gon' be giggly. So with no further ado, I bring to you the motherfucking 85 South Show crew. Make some noise for Hey, that's it? The, oh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. That's all the claps I get? Y'all clap like I rode to this motherfucker with y'all. What, what? What? The? Oh, that's... That's some bullshit. I thought we was better than that, fam, you. Damn, I thought we was better than that. No love. <laughs> Y'all don't know what I've been through to get here. I drove all the way down here from Atlanta with the weed stuffed in my shoe. And get here, and these niggas don't clap. Why y'all got so many police officers at the show? God damn. They back there threatening me and shit. Carlos, where the weed at? In my body. What the fuck? I do not have none on me, Mr. Officer. Shout out to that one Miss Officer lady with that big ass booty. I might do something just so you can search me. God damn, ma'am. You ever seen an ass so big you had to say it two times? Like, that's a big ass ass. She got one, too. I like it down here, bro. This is a strange little place, man. Yeah, this place strange as hell because everybody got a little attitude, bro. Bro, I went to Subway and got into it with the little gay dude. He behind the counter making the sandwich. You're going to ask, you want the extra meat? I don't even want the sandwich, bro. Uh, he tried to start some shit. I don't usually talk about gay people. I almost got jumped by some gay dudes after one show. I came outside. They was laying on my car like this. They was mad as hell. As soon as they saw me, they were like, uh-uh, say what you said. Say what you said, uh-uh, say the joke that you said. Say what the fuck you said. The only thing that scared me with this little hand, say what you said. <laughs> How they gonna put the school right in the middle of the hood? They got crackheads walking around. I was outside smoking, one lady walked up to me, young man, you wanna buy some sexual activities? Hell no. What are you doing out here, Miss Dirty Ass Lady? I like this shit, bro. I can tell y'all been smoking too. I can tell who high. I see you in here just doing the Highland. <laughs> it ain't 
Smoke weed, smoking weed make you smart. You ever get high and get smart, figure out some smart dumb shit? Like, hey, can you wear house shoes in the apartment? The people you smoking with just as high as you? Yeah, because even though this is an apartment, this is your house, you feel me? Because home is where your heart is. I like to get high and figure out shit, bro. That's what I do. You ever get high and figure out some shit? Like, hey, what color is a mirror? Look, y'all high now, nigga. Why y'all got these crowns on? What y'all win? What the fuck is the woo? Homecoming court. The royal court. For what? All you need is a hat. So y'all like some? Y'all like about to win some shit or something? Y'all already won. What the Mexican do with no hat win? Where your fucking hat at, bruh? I don't trust this nigga, bruh. Y'all watch him. You're gonna be stealing all the black girls. Oh, yeah. What? We might have to jump him. You be stealing our women. Where you from, bruh? You Palestinian? Let me quit fucking with you before you blow this bitch up. Then call his uncle. What the fuck did he say? What did he say? No, he don't embarrass my family. What do he say? I blow the bitch up today. I don't give no fuck. Oh, I know the Palestinians, nigga. I know y'all. Nigga be working in the mall. My friend, come with for you. What do you want to pay? Me and you'd make deal. I'm just fucking with you, dog. Please don't blow me up. Bro, this shit is so funny because I see some women in here can't even laugh at this shit because they got the waist trainers on. They in here just giggling. <laughs> He's stupid. Little freak ass. Fellas, make sure you eat pussy. Lay down. Don't put your ass in the air. Don't do that. What if somebody break in? He gonna shoot your freak ass cause your booty out, my nigga. <laughs> Real niggas don't eat pussy with their ass in the air. Lay down. Just a little advice I wanted to give y'all for homecoming. Where does white girl come from? You go to school here? Man, white girl scared the shit out of me. I did not expect to see no white ladies today. Cause y'all do backwards ass shit. Like you ever be walking down the street and you see a white lady coming towards you and she clutch her purse? That is the most offensive shit ever. Cause this bitch thinks she's stronger than me. <laughs> Allison, you vegan. You not stronger than a real nigga. Give me that shit. See how easy that was? Let me stop, this too real for y'all. She go up here telling y'all stupid shit, like tell these women the truth. Bro, you'll never get a woman telling her the truth. See how quiet shit got, that's the real. They not telling us the truth, that's not how real hell, nigga, that whole shit come off. Shout out to all the women who got their homecoming lace front on right now. That shit look like a real hairstyle. We don't even know that's a lace front. It's about three weeks from now. When the goddamn forehead edges start peeling off. It ain't even on her head no more. She just wearing that bitch like a fitted head. I'm talking to the girl backstage. She scratched her head. Her whole hairstyle came out. Oh, you the dude all wildin' down, ain't it? They said y'all was coming. You stupid as hell. 
I guess she got hot. She was like, when is it going to be back on? Because... Where your shit, bro? Talking about natural hair ain't for everybody. Yes, it is. Where your shit? Where your shit? Give a fuck what it look like. Even if your ponytail look like the end of a blunt, where your shit? <laughs> I tell you what you can stop doing, though. Y'all got to stop wearing the fake eyelashes. That shit is ridiculous. Yeah, because y'all really believe that we believe your eyelashes this long. Shit gotta stop. I let this girl spend the night over my house. She gonna get up early and take her fake eyelashes off and try to sneak and throw them away, but forgot them and left them on the bathroom counter. I go in the bathroom to pee. I think we got fucking tarantulas. And what kind of roach is that? <laughs> okay. I'll we'll have about a few minutes left. I gotta get, who is that laughing like a nigga father? <laughs> I don't like this guy. How's homecoming been going so far? Y'all enjoying this shit? I heard y'all had a shootout last night. That be lit already. Shootout on the third night? Nigga, stop playing. Is everybody all right? Yeah. You, somebody say yeah, somebody say no. Hey, man. Y'all avoid all that bullshit. It's so much bullshit to get into this weekend. Make sure you do the right thing, bro. Look out for your people. You don't want your people to come up missing, get shot. Watch out for your homegirl now. Make sure don't nobody fuck with her cup. It's a lot of weird shit going on, bro. And especially make sure you have safe sex this weekend. Especially if you're a young black person. Because they try to make it seem like we the only ones who get AIDS. Have you ever noticed that? You ever be watching TV and that wrap it up commercial come on, scare everybody in the house? <laughs> Say some shit like, one in three black people have AIDS. You be like, shit, it's two people on the couch. That means somebody in this house sick and won't say nothing. What kind of shit? <laughs> it's funny, but it's real. Okay. Cuzzo, you ready, bro? Because we got a whole lot of show going on tonight, bro. I don't know if these people even watch the 85 South show. Oh, you do watch the 85 South show? So you already know who this podcast is for. This podcast is for real hood niggas that go to college. That know how to fry chicken on a George Foreman grill. This podcast that we're doing right now, this is gonna be for all the chicks and fam you that keep snacks under their bed. Much love to all these camera people right here who gonna be taking pictures that ain't nobody ever gonna see. White niggas be stealing pictures. Uh uh. All right, pause. Met that nigga in my grandma church. Where the seniors at? The people who about to graduate and shit. Okay, where the juniors at? They in here? We got any sophomores in here? We got any freshmen? I don't want nobody to feel left out. Is it somebody who just go to school? You don't really know what your class is? You a few credits away from claiming a class? <laughs> you a grad student? Shout out to the grad students in this bitch and all the alumni. Hey man, I don't know if y'all know, but this not just a comedy show right here. This is the 85 South Show. This is a podcast right here, bro. We got some special guests in the house for y'all tonight. To all the ladies in the place, let the ladies make some noise one time. Are y'all in here? 
Well, look, I bought one of my homegirls out here with me tonight. And I know you may have seen her on Instagram talking shit real loud. Yeah. Looking for her long lost boyfriend. She's sitting over here. I want y'all to show some love. Welcome to the stage, my homegirl, Miss B. Simone. Before I touch you, hoe, don't you know? Can't you understand? If you fuck with me, I'll take your man. Bitch, no, I take your man, hoe. Don't play with me. Hold up, hold up. Talk some shit to these ladies. I look deep. I ain't taking nobody's man. I cannot find. Keep your man. I was just letting them know you was in here and shit. Where the rest of the gang get? Cause we got a little game that we wanna, y'all wanna play a game or something? Let me get the rest of the 85 South Show cast members out here. Shout out to Chico Bean, AKA Young Gucci man. That nigga got on Gucci everything. What Clayton at? He not over there? Yeah. Turn that microphone. Yeah. Up. We out here. Y'all still having a good time, fam? You? It don't sound like it. I said y'all having a good time good. in this motherfucker. All right. Check. Yeah. Okay, so. Tonight, you ready for this part? We about to play a game right here because all of y'all that know B. Simone knows that she's looking for what? Yeah, my. Y'all better say. Bitch, I'm looking for one. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a dating game here, fam. You and we're gonna find one of y'all good fellas here, fam. You hold on, Chico. Before we do this, ladies, do y'all think it's some good men here or not? Because I'm scared. Yeah. Stop hating. It gotta be one out of all these niggas. You don't think it's one? Let me see. Turn the lights up. Oh, it's one in here. Nigga, don't come up here if you got a bitch. I cannot fight. I'm not fighting a bitch, okay? Hey, man. <laughs> hey, my man. <laughs> my man. Sir, have a seat, you sir. Can... Sit down, bro. You got too many holes in your no. jeans, nigga. Sit no. down. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> but we need, we need some volunteers. We need about, how many of they dudes? You think about four dudes? Probably three. Three dudes. We need three dudes that would love to get an opportunity to date. We go on a date with. Oh, y'all already got him. Oh, we already got him. Sit your ass down, my bad little man. My bad little Uzi Vert body. Go ahead, sit down, my yeah. nigga. Yeah. Look, Patty got my wrist. Why does that bitch get paint? That's you built like. You better leave them niggas alone. The cappers are already gonna beat your ass. Oh, I know. They gonna come up and be like this. What you say? <laughs> you gonna get beat up by a nigga with chapstick on? <laughs> <laughs> they ain't go right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where where our fellas at? So Carlos, you kick the show oh, off. I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna be the host that's I'm over scared, here on the side with the fellas. Let me go oh, over here and meet the sit. fellas. They gonna sit next to you? No, I don't. I don't want them to sit next to me. I don't hey, know who man, it is yet. Look, okay. So you just gonna send them back off real? Yeah. Y'all stay next to me. Why? You I'm don't nervous. trust these niggas, bro. You got some don't dating, nervous. some dating game music over here. Come on, dating game. Yeah. That nigga glasses, I can see them bitches from here. Y'all so glasses, baby. And have some big ass glasses on. Nigga, see germs. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna take them off now. <laughs> no, leave them shits on. All Who right, you got so, over there, Chico? Uh, I got our contestants, and I think we're ready to start the show off. Miss B. Simone okay, can't see him. No, nah, you can't see him. All right. So this right here is find you a boo, fam you. All right. Find you Ooh. a boo, the fam you edition. Ooh. Homecoming, 2018. Do we got any game show music? Yeah, turn it on. Oh, he, uh, his shit ain't on? Turn my man's shit on. Fuck it, just play something. Come some. on, man, who in charge? They play gotta... something, play something. 
Chico, we got a dating show going on. Welcome back to Fam You, homecoming edition of Find Your Boo. If you're lonely and need a friend, come to the show and we'll put you in. We know some dudes who don't have jobs. They go to college so they don't sell and rob. Introduce, let's bring them up, Chico. Can we get them over here? All right, let's, all right. Uh, let's, let's uh, bring here. our three contestants up. First of all, uh, before we bring you up, my name is Chico Bing, and I'm your second host here for Find You a Boo Fam You. Your name, sir? Pierre Olsen. Ooh. Hey, Mr. he don't talk Pierre. like that for real. Mr. Ah! Pierre. Mr. Pierre. <laughs> Mr. Pierre. Oh, oh. wow. Oh, it looked like she want to meet him. You put a lot of bass in your voice there, sir. Good job. Who do we have here? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Everybody quiet down. Everybody quiet down. Wait a second. Hey, look, I don't got, no, I don't got all that bass, all right? All right all right. You got the juice. Right. He don't even Jordan speak Seeley. English. I can't. What? <laughs> Your name is what? Jordan Seely. Jordan. Okay. And then last but not least, we have Kamal Presley. Ooh. Kamal Presley. And these are our three contestants. Okay. These are our three contestants that are going to be attempting to find love for Miss B. Simone. Let's get you guys up here. Make some noise for your Woo! contestants. Hey, this shit gonna be ghetto as hell. I can tell oh my already. God. They so fine. Stand behind this curtain, fellas. Well, you know I gotta you? be behind the curtain. All right, you gotta be behind the curtain, right Two there. Two of them is their game to lose. All Two right. of them got a shot, I'm right? All right. So, Carlos, we have Miss B. Simone here. And you who's... got the first contestant up there. Shuffle them up so we can just ask them some random okay. questions. Okay, you guys, you guys <laughs> shuffle, them shuffle them a little bit. Shuffle them up. All right. Shuffle them up. Okay. Hey, man, whoever's on the camera, stop showing these I know. I can't, am I supposed to see them, <laughs> cameraman? Camera dude. <laughs> it's supposed she to be is. suspense. This nigga I... doing the shit out his job. <laughs> <laughs> he like, fuck hey, that. Ain't fucking my checkup. Everybody getting shown. I knew he was going to be serious because he got them leprechaun shoes on with the man. one buckle. Hey. Oh, yeah. Them, them Ichabod <laughs> Cranes. Nigga, you got on them Frederick Douglasses. If you don't get your goddamn farm for to carry me home. When you take them shoes off, you got to put them in your pocket. <laughs> All right. Let's get to the Maybe first question. Right. First question, B. Simone. Do you have any? Um, if we were to go on our first date, where would we go? All right. First, we have John, correct? Jordan, my bad. Don't tell me the name. Chico, I'm not supposed to know who's talking. You can know the names. You can know names. their names. It's too late. You oh, it's your freak ass. I don't want to know his name. I just want to. Let's I keep the go. suspense up. All right. So, tell Miss B. Simone where you would take her on your first date. It depends where I met her at. <laughs> Nigga, you met her at Fam You on that the stage. That ain't got shit to do with it, boy. Behind a curtain. That's where you met her at. Now, what's your answer? It depends on where I met her at. Fuck out of here. It depends on where I met her at. It depends on what kind of you shoes met her I got here, on. here, nigga. Is it fall? It Shut on, up. It depends on what her favorite color is. What? Now that you know where you met her at, where the fuck y'all going? <laughs> you met her here at FAMU, Jordan, okay? So let's just say that you, you met her here at fucking Patty's Foot. I don't know. You met her here. All right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, if I met you in front of Patty's Foot. No, no, no. You met her here. Where would you take her on the first date? You already talk too much. You fucking it up. <laughs> talk yourself out the pussy. That quick. Hey, look, look, look. Hey, I'm taking you to the cab first. Oh, baby. He I said to the cab. Cab. You going to the cab. I'm going to swipe you in. No, I got you. no. You he, he talking about the cafeteria. All right. <laughs> he said he going to take you to the cafeteria. Hey, man, like, fuck y'all. This like college, tea. that's a date. I like tea. That's good. Yep, it sure That's is. That's all of them, Chico. All this right. Is all, the, all the contestants. All right. Second, <laughs> second. So we got one cafeteria. What, what first one is going to take you on a date to the calf, and how about you, sir? Um, the museum probably. To be real. Did he say the gym? The museum. What museum is in Tallahassee oh, that you would be taking her to? I thought he was calling me fat. Like, bitch, we going to the gym. The Black Archives could work. <laughs> okay, the Black Archives. Oh, that's nice. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Y'all go. That's, that's nice. Okay. Really the Black crazy. Archive, he would take you to the Black Archive. The Ladies, hold on. Let me ask. You've been to look through George Washington Carver experience. Ladies, would that work if a nigga took different. you to the Black Archive? Yes. Yes. 
They like it. That's All right. something different. That shit's sad. I'm tired of dealing with these hood <laughs> I didn't say, I didn't know how you could transition from that. Yeah, they ain't had to do Rosa like that. Shit, what's up, though? <laughs> All right, and last but not least, uh, where would you take Miss B. Simone on the first date? Four or three. Well, I know I go to fan you. You better. I'm hasty, so I love to eat. And I would take her to Chick-fil-A, spend a couple flex bucks, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Y'all worth more than all the flex bucks in the world. Hey. Get your <laughs> ass back. This nigga rich in college money. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to take her down to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Extra Polynesian sauce, big lemonade. Flex dollars, all that. Algebra homework. Okay, and uh... And then after Chick-fil-A, there's a little walkway between uh -huh. FSU and family. So I can take her on the walkway and show her where we could go and could be, you know, and then just take off from there. Okay. Okay. Come All on. right. Hey, man. <laughs> Stop hating on my future. Hey. All right. And uh, another, quick, another quick note. That must have been a good answer. The white girl went and sat down. Oh, my fucking God. I cannot. <laughs> he is so cool. I love hikes. I love hikes. <laughs> and uh, all right. And just to let you guys know, the winner of this competition will get $100. Oh, oh they don't get a the date. Game. They get a date, but they're going to get $100. To too. take you out oh. with. Oh, to take me out with. Yeah, yeah, so you don't just be in the cafeteria getting bananas and turkey sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, Miss B. Simone, you got your first, you got your first answer. Okay, we're gonna give them three questions and then we're gonna do our first elimination. So, second question. Okay, second question. What should I ask? Second question. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. What's important to you? <laughs> like, bitch, what you care about? Yeah. Uh, um. I got a question to the contestants. If B. Simone called you and told you she might be pregnant, first response. What was your be your first response? Let's go. That's why, see? What is your credit score? <laughs> Put him yeah. on the clock. Put him on the clock. <laughs> Put him on the clock. <laughs> Wait, is this before or after we m met? Like, you pregnant. Okay, okay, okay. How the fuck you How you gonna man? get pregnant? Who the fuck is you? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, ignore that, ignore that. Bruh. This is why you don't have a boyfriend right here. Be okay. Simone. It is before or after we met. We don't know nothing about chronological man. order. First answer, you ready? All right. B. Simone, what is your credit score? God damn, What's Mike. your what? He said, what is your credit score? What does that have to do with the baby? The <laughs> fuck does that have to do with anything but you fucking a raw, you goofy hey, ass man. nigga? All right. You got to strap it up, buddy. <laughs> second answer, second answer. He just proved why you can't just be out here fucking anybody. <laughs> second answer, what would your response be? By who? Okay. That's a good, that's a good yeah. question. If they know okay. you. <laughs> and last but not least, what would your response be? You. So you know I'm hasten, so. <laughs> hey, man, you can't start everything my, with that shit. My father. <laughs> hey, I'm hasten, so. Wait, let him answer. <laughs> Bruh. Sock passe, let him answer. I will, you know, we'll be growing up about the situation. I have to evaluate her again because I'm like, <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> We, we I would have to evaluate her situation. A, a wise man told me, when you look in, when you look into a woman's eyes, can you see a future with her? And if I see a see a future with you, D Simone, hey, do what we do. Uh, so what you did? You fucked with your eyes closed? <laughs> you fucked with your eyes closed the whole time? I'm not looking at them. Not gonna look. You just not looking in the eyes? She's gonna be the same. Okay. Okay. All right. So we got our second answer. Now final question before our first elimination. Final question. Who you got? Oh, one more. What are your goals? One more. What are your goals? Some, she said, what? what are your goals? No. <laughs> you don't care about a nigga I don't goals? Care about that. I'm trying oh to get God. down the aisle. Um, you don't care about a nigga I mean, I goals? I do, but I oh do. He God. obviously got goals. He in college. That don't mean, okay. Some of these motherfuckers out here still taking reading classes, fucking around. <laughs> All right. Question. Third question, Miss B. Simone. She said, "What the bank account look like?" No. Flex dollars. Big bank, take little bank. I don't know. How many kids do you want? No. Okay. Fuck the kids. Uh, all no, right. Go ahead. Chico, go ahead. you got one? Yes. Yeah, I, I actually, 
I'll ask, I'll ask the third and final question. Okay. All right. Now. Chico, be nice. I am going to be nice, but I want to see what these guys are going to do if they get the opportunity to take you on a date. A lot of people give bad men, I mean, black men, excuse me, a bad rap. And they say that black men aren't faithful. Black men don't cheat. Shh. So, what would, what would you tell B. Simone about your ability to be faithful if you were with her? That's so beautiful. You don't have nothing to say. Man, get like your goof at. Y'all trying to get me in trouble. That's what y'all trying to do. do you have a, get you, do you in have trouble a girlfriend? with who? You already have a girlfriend? What the fuck are you doing up here then, nigga? Oh, you shit. talking about somebody hey. getting you in trouble. Hey, you got a scrap. What is wrong with this nigga? Bruh. That's Loser. the nigga that can't speak English anyway. He's nuts. <laughs> His girlfriend must not know English. I asked him about being faithful. Then he want to be faithful. You reminded that nigga, he was like, bro, speaking Damn. of being faithful, my girl local this <laughs> All right, so fuck it. Here you You're go, champ. Sock. What's the Be uh, some more ain't got I, no boy. Once I, get, once like I give you the three, title, though. I mean I'm gonna be faithful, so I mean shit, before that. Man. <laughs> All right, let's go to this guy right here. We already know you Haitian, so I'm Haitian, let's leave that so. out. You know what I mean? I'm Haitian, so, you know. <laughs> hey, at the end of the day, you know what they say, Haitian men are the most faithful men in the world. Hey. So she, hey. she already knew from the jump who she was dealing with. D. Simone, I'm your man. Let's do this. I Whoa. like him. You like him? I can't well, hate go, on him, I man. I like him, Chico. Go, bring that nigga around. Right. Uh, I'm consistent. sorry, she's chose my man right here. So I need y'all to make some noise. For the winner. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that nigga wait, definitely wait, wait, Haitian, bro. Wait, 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 bro. I didn't see the shoes go back. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> God, nigga, you a pilgrim or something? Okay, I changed my mind. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, it's a pilgrim. God, <laughs> Hey, hey. Well, y'all hey, know I'm Haitian, hey, right? Hey, Wonderful. hey. Wonderful. Hey. Hey! Oh, hey. I can't never hey, read. Hey, man! What the fuck? I, I didn't even see those, man. You got on she the knows. African man. Uber drivers right hey, there. Man. What the fuck was that? Uh, I can't never have it all. Fuck. Let me tell you something. Hey. Let me tell you something. If you dimmy me off my shoes, I don't know if I can be with you. Because okay. at the end of the day. Hold on, hot, hot. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can be <laughs> with like you. Get carried away. <laughs> we all know why you were behind that curtain. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Let's keep it cute. Yes, ma'am. But um, we're gonna have to work on that before our first date. Of course. That's all I ask. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you have you. other options, my nigga? Of course. Be Simone, can you tap dance when he starts tap dance? <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm Hasten. My name is Pierre Alson, and I approve this message. No, Shut up. Hold up. Wait, wait, hey. wait. Before you go, time out. I like his Before you go, no, he you go, he go, he go, have yeah, been telling us that you Haitian and giving a reason for why you do what you do and saying you Haitian. So could you please tell us why you picked those wallets to wear that the motherfucking show tonight? <laughs> Them the same shoes Martin Luther King got shot in. Yeah! Hey. hey. With the cuff on the Listen, ankle. listen, listen. What? I want to go. I want to go, go back. Then you got this jeans rolled up like a sass ass auntie. <laughs> hey, man. What? Yeah. Hey, Carlo. That nigga got the living single jeans on, boy. We are living <laughs> hey, hey, single. Ooh, in the 90s kind of world. I'm glad I got my. Yeah, roll your cuffs up. What? Roll your cuffs up. That's right. <laughs> All right, so please tell your, your counterparts here, fam, you why you decided to wear the, uh, the, the Jesse Jacksons to campus today. Well, any classic Haitian man always owns a pair of these. Because at the end of the day, I know every Haitian student here knows that their dad owns one of these and he wears them with no socks on properly. Because Haitian man, sometimes we don't wear lotion. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we got good ankles and we're trying to show how we can support her 
throughout our journey in life. That's hey, how man. we become faithful. Show your ankles off, brothers. Hey, Show your ankles off. This man said I got shout out, what Shout out to all the Haitians who got church shoes on. Hell yeah, we fuck with y'all the long way. He's the only one. <laughs> you look like the nigga that came to fight T'Challa oh, in, uh... <laughs> I challenge you. <laughs> nah, nah. Who? <laughs> so, now that you have won $100 and a date with B. Simone, where are you really officially going to take where her to on your first real? date? Oh, we got $100. The what? We got $100. We're going to drop about two hours to go to the beach, you know, at night. Yeah. And then I'm going to bring the speaker into the light. And he going to run on the sand with his pants rolled up. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, honestly, I'm not really a guy that really focuses on the big things. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> you about to fuck it up. Oh. That's what happened. Oh. Every time you be this close to getting something, fellas, you say something else, you get too deep and <laughs> fuck Tell it up. It. Well, basically, what he I want everybody to know is... I thought the nigga was going to say, uh, well, you know I'm Haitian, so I'm keeping that goddamn money. <laughs> <laughs> but well, ladies and Just gentlemen, look, money. man, make some noise for our winner and your yeah, yeah, fam, yeah. you. Yeah. Find you a boo well, winner. Like All right. Yeah. Thanks, brother. Pierre. That's his name? Pierre? Yeah. Hell yeah. Pierre St. Claude. Bitch. Chico, you hey, to both of y'all niggas got on old nigga shoes. Y'all need to hang out together. Get us. Whoa. <laughs> y'all gonna turn into the nigga rangers if y'all put two more players <laughs> in those. <laughs> These niggas gonna start dancing. <laughs> Challenge. Chico, you were supposed to catch that before he walked around. Hey, hey, I don't know what you like. You might like niggas <laughs> in old shoes. <laughs> Know what you into? He tried to sell us on the ankles. I well, got strong ankles. <laughs> what? Clay, didn't you used to go to school here, bro? Yeah, man. What you type of shit y'all used to get into? Not that. Didn't nobody do that when I was here. <laughs> but no, nah, it's something to do every night if you don't want to focus on school. But <laughs> like what? Like what is there to get into shit, around? Everything. Family? All these little clubs. You just and went to parties. a block party. Y'all be going yeah, to top flight. That's for the. That's for the old people. That's where you go get you a cougar. Hell you get yeah. you a cool good town flight. You can meet a bitch named See? Beverly. <laughs> Two names. Shit, the last time we came to Tallahassee, they had us at this club called Play. Oh, tell nigga. us about it. Nigga. I thought I'm they tell was you playing. How, I thought they was playing too. <laughs> True story, fam you. These motherfuckers had our food in the girls' bathroom. Uncovered chicken. Women walking in there pissing and everything. I'm like, nigga, you think I'm finna eat some pussy wings? You crazy as hell. That was a true story. They had the food set up in the green room, in the bathroom. I was like, I'm not eating that. Nah, man. This, I hope you see fam treat you a little bit better. They got a little Bruh. more money now. This shit. Yeah. Like, somebody this daddy nice. sold nice. somebody daddy sold me a fish plate. Yeah, yeah. Right outside. He yeah. didn't even ask for the money. Go ahead, you straight. <laughs> I know what I'm about to do. I'm about to go out here and see who the fuck we got in here, man. I bet hey, you man, I'm start about to this thing all right. Let's go. You need the spotlight. Who the fuck we got in here. Yeah. Oh, hey. Got my lab with me. See who we got in here tonight. Bitch. Oh, hey. Fuck it with the dude. I am you. What it do? Hey. We out here with you. Uh, uh. All right. All right. Hey, that's the Hold royal up. court right Hold there. Up. Hold that's up. The we, royal got, court, right? we got the royal court right here. Y'all make that's some noise for y'all. Right? Come and royal court. That's them. All right. All right, so what's your name and what is your position on the Royal Court? Elijah Case, a Royal Escort. You a Royal Escort? Oh, man. So you just got voted to walk motherfuckers around the parade, huh? <laughs> All right, that's what it is. Well, Royal Escort, okay, and you are beautiful. My name is Crystal Hagen, I'm freshman attendant. Yeah. Oh, they, they like Crystal. They fucking with you, Crystal. All right. Crystal? Crystal. Like the, Crystal, like the wine? Your mama must have been fucking a dope dealer when she named you. I'm gonna name my baby Cristel, <laughs> not Cristal. Now, what is, you, what is your position until you're the freshman what? Freshman attending. So you attend to the freshman? Yeah, I guess, yeah. That's okay. Good. Right. Shout out to FAMU 22, yo! Yeah. Oh, okay. Brush. FAMU 22? 
But that's like 700 people. You, you, did that mean y'all was born in like 99, 2000? Don't do that math, bro. Damn, I don't hey, do that math, bro. Chico, so you saying these are the uh, back that ass up children? Yes. For yes. the 99 yes. and the 2000. Yes. Wow. Oh, my God. And you are champ? Adrian Fine, a royal escort. A yo, new. Okay. He thought they was going to be louder than that. He right. did. <laughs> he didn't know they were sitting at the top. All right. All right. Uh, so, uh, okay. Uh, you, yo, yo. All right. Um, so, uh, what is your position? What do you do? I escort my attendant, Kamaya. Okay. You're an escort. Okay. And you are all the, all the fellas right here are escorts. Yeah, don't talk to them if they ain't got no crown on. Just, They're okay. not serious. They, they just a male gold digger. They just, oh, you won? <laughs> Let me escort you. <laughs> Let me walk okay. with you. And you are beautiful? I'm Kamaya Milliner. Um, I'm Miss Junior. <laughs> Salute to all the juniors uh, in the building. <laughs> and you are beautiful? Jocelyn Benyard, Miss Senior Attendant. Okay. Yeah, Jocelyn yeah. Benyard, Miss Senior Attendant. Shout and out to the dude from Pakistan. That's what's up, man. And he about you, to blow up. <laughs> and you are? I'm Hema uh, the Schema. Yeah. Uh, Hema the Schema. That ain't how you say that shit. Wow. What is it? Hema the Schema. Hema the Schema. Yeah. This the. You know who he is? This is a nigga that be in the mall trying to get you to put that <laughs> shit on your skin when you walk past the kiosk. Please, please, ma'am, please come here, please, please, <laughs> please. Did you wash your hand today? Please, please, don't walk away, ma'am. Please, come, please, let me, please, please, like, please. Oh, what do you use you? on your skin? Please, please, let me, please. Stop that shit, man. All right, and you are beautiful. Dominique Parks, the graduate attendant. Okay. Yeah. Dominique Parks look like you don't play no games, Miss Dominique. Not any of them. Look at you, beautiful. You got a boyfriend, Dominique? You do? Is he here? No, well, fuck them then. All right, that was, all right. Shouldn't let you come out here by yourself with you looking all good like that. What's up with you? What's your name, champ? They call me Lewis. I'm in a real. <laughs> what the fuck? What he said? Cody Lewis, real. Lewis, my name is real. real. Ah. I kind of like that stupid shit, though. Man, you better talk uh, how you shut talk. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> like, man, you 21, man. So, no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, go yeah. do that real. Ain't nobody understand nothing you said, Slim Jesus. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? All right, and you are, you have a big crown on. Big okay. crown. Big crown. Aww. That's Stand that girl up, from dude. the princess and the frog. <laughs> and, and, and you she are? Won. Imani Hydea Cooper, the 112 Miss Florida Hell yeah. Yeah. Let go. God damn. Give it up. Whoa. You just said that shit. And yeah. you all don't sit down. Who are you? Miles Millsap, the 19th Miss of Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. Yeah, Woo! yeah. All right. Time out, time out, time out, everybody. This nigga forgot who he is. Hey, man. He said the 19th Florida Agricultural and Technical University. You the 19th <laughs> what, nigga? What are you? 19th, Mr. Fam. You shout out to the good bros, 06. Shout out to the gay bros. Is that oh, what you Oh, that's not what that man said. Don't do that, man. It sounds like he said that. Shout out to the gay bros. We ah. here. Salute to the gay brothers, no disrespect. Hey man, don't be starting shit. He said the good bro. That's my, what the gay bros say. <laughs> huh? What the gay bros say. They be oh, like, the wee, wee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ice. Yeah. <laughs> wee, wee. <laughs> All right, and uh, I know you ain't nobody. You just sitting here. Nigga, hey. stop playing. Hey. All right. All right, well, come on, Plies. What's up with ah. you, man? We don't get you. You are my rock, 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 rock. Hit like a block, 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 block. Nigga, get block, 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 block. block. Hey. Nigga, say talk, 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 talk. Hey, hey, all right. Now, who are you? Who are you? Fuck a shooter on my own shooter. Hey. My name is Percy Henry the Third. Percy Henry. The third. From Brooklyn, New York. Crib. Okay, all day. 
right, and I'm the student advisor. Person got a ball spot. You see it? Look, it's right there. Oh, 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 Y'all shouldn't do that, man. You hey, know man. Percy. We just Percy, fucking Percy. with you, Percy. Percy, <laughs> I have a question. Did you say from Brooklyn, New York, crib? <laughs> All right, so this is how it go, right? Who from New York in the building? So you say, right? So if I was from Miami, I say I'm from the old soul live 305. But since I'm from Brooklyn, I'm going to say... I'm from Brooklyn. Hey, y'all made all of You made that up, sir. You made that up. They don't you need made that Time up. out. That's what's wrong with niggas. Y'all heard me, fam. You asked this nigga, did he say crib? And this nigga answered every question but the one I asked him. <laughs> you said the crib. No, oh, from the crib. I thought you said crib like the game. Percy, 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 man. Your forehead too big for you to be so stupid, man. <laughs> hey. Forehead wide, man. Chico, leave Percy alone. He got a spot on his mind, okay? Leave that boy alone. Hey, man. <laughs> You're right. All right. What's up, man? We got my man right here, Biggie Smalls, in the motherfucking building. <laughs> oh. Biggie Smalls oh. is the Biggie illest. Smalls, I'm the illest. Oh. Baby, baby. Oh. All right. What's your name, big homie? Christopher Doris Sellers. Oh, it's Christopher too. What do you yeah. do, Big Chris? All right, so I'm a brother of the beta new chapter of Alpha Five from Attorney Incorporated. Shout out to the good bros. All right, there big you boy. Go. All right, so uh, <laughs> what do you do that got you sitting right here, big ass nigga? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who gonna move? I'm just chilling. I'm the bodyguard, man. I'm you the bodyguard with a coat like that on? Boy, yeah, you... Yeah. Hey, man, you supposed to blend in. <laughs> he do blend in. That's why the nigga dress like bushes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm clean, though. As a motherfucker, yeah, don't yeah. never let hey. nobody tell you that you ain't. Hey, Make hey. some noise with my big homie right here. Who we got right here? Hey, I'm DeAndre Peoples, and I'm a third-year political science student from Saginaw, Michigan, and I serve as a royal escort. Damn, DeAndre, you look like the old Diddy. <laughs> take that, take and that. And how about you, champ? Yeah. Uh, I'm Teron Hedrington, and I serve as a royal escort for this beautiful sophomore attendant. Aww. He's you a don't really get your sexy wannabe niggas. He's a really nice guy. She doing better than him. He trying to hold on to that with everything he got. We're All right, and you are beautiful. <laughs> Greetings, I am Imani Thomas. I serve as your Miss Sophomore Attendant for the 2018-2019 no. school year. That and I'm from Tallahassee, Florida, gay. There you go. I like her because she's small and hood. She was like, yeah, I'm representing gang, gang, gang. I like that type of shit. Hell yeah. Like, she going to do her homework, but she will fight a bitch when she finished. <laughs> and she stood up the floor. Yes. Oh, I love hood women and, so much. And you are? You are? You are? First of all, before I speak, I just want to let everybody know something. There's only one real crib, and that's Dead County in the building. Say, yo. Two claps in the strike. I am Mark Nicholas, King of Orange and Green from Miami, Florida. Get it right. Ain't no chill in the building. Yeah. There go. Dade County already. Ain't no chill. Let's get right. Shout out to DC. I went to McGilly Tech. Yeah. Uh-huh. Boy. <laughs> that nigga plugged in on hey, the man. streets. He lit. Did you see how they was like? Hey, man. I don't know what the fuck everybody else got going on, I but that nigga right. know the people that do this right. shit. Yeah. Right. I tried to jump in. He plugged all the way. They even made the hissing uh, sound. That's that strike. That's that rattler. He could, hey, I was wondering and what they were doing. Y'all make me wish I would have stayed in college. And you are beautiful. Hi, I am Erica Marie Tyler, your 2018-2019 queen of orange and green. Let me get two clips in the strike. Yeah. And you are beautiful. 
I'm Jaleesa Demetria Plummer, a third-year theater performance scholar from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and I currently serve as a student Fort advisor. Fort Lauderdale. All right. That's what it is. Y'all make some noise for y'all Royal Court fam, you. They in here. They look so Now let's good. go ahead and address the elephant in the room. My nigga. Come on, the elephant. Yo, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? You tell me what's good, what? I don't lean hey, on me, nigga. Hey. All right. Ah. I don't, don't lean on me, nigga. I don't know ah. you like that. I don't know you like what that, nigga, you but doing? all right. We don't know each other. All right, what's your name, big homie? I don't even got my name, but if you want to follow me on Instagram, Mr. Underscore Fendo, yo. At this point, I'm gonna block you. Bruh, that nigga said, I don't got my name. But if you want to follow me on Correction, the I said, I don't got no name. There you go. <laughs> well, that mean that nigga don't go to school here. <laughs> Ain't no Correction. way you enrolled in class that ain't got your December name. December 14th at 9 a.m. Correction. All right, well, they gonna call something. What they gonna do? Just say, mm, come get your degree. Fuck out of here. They gonna say, Mr. <laughs> underscore Fendo, come and get your master's degree in sports ministrations. Oh, uh, come right. through now. Come on. Well, you gonna get that degree online if it's at Mr. Underscore any goddamn thing. They gonna send that shit to you. He don't go here. He go well, to Phoenix you know, University. Long you know I'm graduating with summa cum laude. That's all that matter. Well, they got to say your name. Nah, we love you. And that name gonna come through as Mr. Underscore Fendo and Dr. Price in that office right there. <laughs> right there. My nigga. East St. Louis in there, bet, yo. Summa cum laude, that sound like some good <laughs> coochie right there. Man. She got on her way. Bro, she, she had that summa cum laude. Only real people laude. that went to graduate, graduate school will know, understand, will understand Right. Ah, right. There you I was go. giving you a chance, there nigga. You go. But that goddamn cheap ass aristocrat you've been drinking and kicked in or something, man. Listen, man. He on that ABC uh, vodka. Yeah, he on that cocaine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Leave him alone, goddammit. Long as you know it's higher than six foot, little ass nigga. Oh! oh. oh. He on your way. It's a back and forth like I've never seen before. Oh. Bitch, why you Oh, man. I, that was a good one. I am a little ass nigga, bro. I'm a, I'm a little ass nigga, but I got to ask you a question about your jeans, though. So you got a lot of holes in your jeans. You let your thighs out and shit like that, right? <laughs> so uh, I just want to know uh, what made you... Uh, Pick those. Actually, I picked those because that <laughs> I was coming to that, but hey, I can't say too much because I only got a few more years in this hairline and, and it's her receding myself, so I can't speak on that. But um, uh, I picked these jeans because it was a fluke. I don't know, but I'm gonna just say I picked these jeans, goddammit. It was a flu. He got his thighs out. He want to win the Thiesman Trophy. You don't shut your ass up, boy. <laughs> boy, your jersey big as fuck. Get the fuck out of here. I know you ain't talking wearing the last act section over there. Your shit buttoned down to your navel. You don't boy, shut your, your ass, ass up. Boy, your ass want to be somebody big. Hey, try again. Walk around. Walk, around <laughs> walk around the long, walk, walk along the red walk park. Along. Try again. What you saying? Hey. Lock along. Lock Shut along. up, and maybe you Shut can hear me then. <laughs> but hey, I fuck hey, with you, though. I fuck with you, though. Know. <laughs> <laughs> These spirits. Hey, I'm gonna leave this nigga we alone playing, now. When he started talking about Clayton, he went, first of all, bitch, you need to shut your motherfucking <laughs> mouth. All right, that's why my jeans like this, nigga. Watch yourself. Big dog in here. I'm a big man, not a little ass nigga. <laughs> Yo, oh, man alone. None of that sweet shit. No, I'll pass on all that. I'm good. I'm good, love. Enjoy. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Get on all there. For real, tell the people your name, man. They need to know you, man. No, but all jokes aside, no, no, no. if, if, if y'all been going here, I've been here since 2013, Patrick Martinez Fenderson. I've been, I've been supposed to be that live ass nigga, but everybody already know me if you've been going here. Patrick motherfucking Fendo, that's me. This nigga said he been here since 2013. This nigga is a super duper senior, my nigga. God, he old? 
Oh, he old, old. That nigga old, old as a mother. This Super nigga been going here for years. You 30 years old? How you 30 years old sitting with the freshman, nigga? What's wrong with you? Congratulations. Um, good try. I'm 26 with a master's degree. That's coming December 14th at 9 a.m. Yeah, well, nigga, I'm 30 and I'm rich. Congratulations, motherfucker. Fuck wow. what you talking about, nigga. What you mean? Wow. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm 30 and I'm there rich, bitch. All right, Kick all right, hold up. I ain't hugging you, big ass nigga. Kick I'll that. hug her. All right, there we go. All right, now I ain't done. I'm about away. to go over here and meet some of these beautiful fam you ladies in this. Just because they got crowns, they don't mean go see them. Go all right, happy you. birthday, baby. Yes, yeah, your birthday. What's your name? It's my Ooh. birthday. I'm Mariah Wiggs. For those who can't see or don't know, and I turned 19 today. You turned 19. Ah, all right, happy birthday. Hey. All right, stand up, let me hey. see you. Who you got out there, bro? I got it. Oh, your ass fat basketball shorts. God dang. Come here, baby. Come in, come in, sis. Big booty. Look at the booty hit the, oh, it hit the, oh, look at it hit the chair. Come on through. Come on, bring that big old motherfucker through. What's your name? Come on, don't be Chico, ashamed. she got the girl with the big booty ponytail. I believe you. <laughs> Every girl on campus with the fat ass got that same ponytail. Hey. What's your name, baby? Uh, Jasmine Baloo. What you do, Miss Jasmine Baloo? I play basketball here. Hell yeah. Basketball. Yeah. Y'all good? Y'all good? Yeah, we going pretty good this year. OK, you got a boyfriend? No. <laughs> she looking for a boyfriend? Alright. Somebody just said, y'all nasty she shit in fam you. She just said, pull that dick out, let us see what she works. Shut with. the fuck up, That's what she man. just said. What is wrong with this man? Nah, look at your little freaky ass. I'm gonna ask about you next, pull a dick out. Alright, so it's a lot of You're gonna get here. the basketball girls in trouble. That's what the coach gonna name the play. Run pull the dick out. Since y'all let the comedy show. Oh, you stupid. So <laughs> talking about what, pull the dick. <laughs> what you looking for on the man? You got what three these seconds? What no. these fam you niggas gotta do to get right with you? I'm not really looking right now. Oh well fuck it then. Sit your big that's, butt. Hey, that's good. Not hey. sharing that big old booty with nobody but nobody big but you. Stingy booty. Get out of here. Alright, we're the one looking for some you dick stupid. at. <laughs> Uh, bring your dick look no law. Hey. You talk. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Bro, we need nah. a fucking show. Yeah. All right, come here. Oh. Damn, right. she look like the old chili. Where y'all find her at? How are you, beautiful? You got the money. Wow. What's she saying? Damn, did she just hear you say you was rich? She said, do I got the money? So all it takes is some money to get that pussy? For real? Wow. <laughs> What's your cash app? Ah! Period. No. <laughs> Fuck that. I, hey, no. since that's all it takes. What's your cash app? What is it? <laughs> all right. What is it? No. Uh, hold up. Let me, let me get it right. What's your cash app? I'm going to send you the money. All right. Uh, What's your cash, cash app? app? I'm going to send you the money. What's the cash app? I'ma send you the money. What's the cash app? I'ma send you the money. What's the cash app? I'ma send you the money. What's the cash app? I'ma send you the money. What's the cash app? I'ma send you the money. What's the cash app? I'ma send you the money. I said, hold up. What? If that's I... all it take is a couple of dollars for you to come to my place and put the booty on my plate, Aye. let me hit that. Aye. Nigga sent the money, Aye. let him hit that. The girl Aye. with the curly hair Aye. and the big booty. She said Aye. she needs some money so she can get to it. My Aye. nigga Chico Bean, he said that he was rich. He sent the can app. Now you got to send the tits Aye. or something. Aye. Sitting in your chair talking all that shit. You didn't hear me when I told the whole crowd I'm rich. So I sent you 150 and now you got to know you was my Ho ho, come on, can we let's fuck? Hey. One Move fifty, on, sit down. Down. Sit down. I might All send right. another one just to tighten her up, and I don't even want it. Hey. I want my nigga to hit. Hey, Chico, send me the cash app. I sent her some shit. Hey. Yeah, yeah, we got a hundred and fifty. You already know that that pussy coming with me. You play on the basketball team, and I ain't wrong. That just mean your pussy hold long. Then I'm oh. a. Oh. 
I'm going to it right in. You already know you got a new boyfriend. So now that I sent you that cash you asked about, hey, I'm trying to get that Whole mouth. Crowd. Okay, we doing I said, what's your cash out? I send you the money. Hey, what's your cash out? I send you the money. I said, what's your cash out? I send you the money. I said, what's your cash out? I send you the money. I said, what's your cash out, baby girl? Where your booty at? Hey, if you give it to me, I promise I'ma send it back. Right. Shit, Chico, you know how I feel. I'ma send two hundred dollars cause her hair look real. Ooh. Hey, and hey, you yeah, know yeah. that I'm nasty. I got another two fifty. If she want it, come and get it, cause we up here at the fam you show. It's Chico being Clayton, be Simone and Carlos. Ooh. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Uh, so. So, 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 time out, y'all. Hold up, I got a question for my new girl now. Pause it, pause it. I got a question for my new girl now. Um, so now that you got the cash that you asked for, uh, uh oh. So, uh, hey, she ain't playing no more. Her face. Uh, what wasn't that? Hold up, time out, time out, y'all. We got the two older ladies right here. They said, "Bitch, that wasn't enough. You better ask for some more." Well, ma'am, how much did she have to ask for? Five, five, five grand. You rich, right? Five grand. You look. Okay, time out, ma'am. You ma don't get the price. Nobody else puts it. She says she wanted one fifty. Hey, and that's what she got. You can't run the price up no five thousand dollars. And, and and mama, how much would you? She say five thousand. What you charge? Well, I'm a registered nurse. I make plenty of money, so ten grand would have to do. Ten grand. Ten grand. Goodness gracious. Oh! All right, mama. Oh my God. Uh, hey, hold on. Oh my. Let me Mike see it. Team. Let me send it again. Send it again. Show it to him. That's over budget, ma'am. That's wow. not in the budget. Put it on the seat. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Big, I promise I ain't gonna pass. You got the big old butt. I'm trying to give me a nut. And you say you a nurse, then that means you can take me up on Woo! anything I got going. I know that you ain't hoeing, but your ass so big, I'm just trying to be the one that's showing you a little yeah. bit of tricks. Hey, mama, open up for some of this young nigga dick. Hey! She gonna bring get your ass out of up. Get out of up. Nah, I fuck with mama. Mama will fuck the shit out you and make you a pound cake when it's over, nigga. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, you get them, Ma. Look, look, look. Them, Ma, look at them, Ma. Look at them lips on Ma, too. Ooh. Chico. Oh! Oh, yes! 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 I love it! Move! Move! Nigga, don't get no run of that neck. God damn it! No. Hey! I told y'all. Mama! Yeah. Mama just put her whole hand in her mouth. Mama. Look at the young nigga right there holding his heart. Changed your life, didn't it? Mama said she gonna swallow your whole Mama. meat. Hold hey, up, bro. Auntie. Oh, she, my God. Oh, my really, God. She really just did that. Oh, my God. Oh my. Mama just went like, oh, shit. Mama. I done caught feelings. Right. Mama probably. Class, mama gave you that head that go like this. <clears throat> you like, oh, Mama. Don't throw up that olive guard, mama. That's what it is. <laughs> Chico, you stupid. Bro. I love it. That's mama. why we don't take you nowhere. Hey, all right, we got this side over here. Yeah. yeah. Niggas really don't fuck with. They don't really fuck with this side. Niggas, y'all be chilling. All right, who my niggas right here? Let me go up here and meet some of these niggas up oh, here. Oh, shit. Shit, nigga, this the 85. I ain't fucking with you. You look straight down when I walk past you. You good, big homie? I'm going up here to fuck with my homeboys up here. Hey, Chico. Hold up. Before you do that, you ain't going to believe this shit, bro. What? You are not about to believe this shit. What? Go ahead. I'll tell you in a minute. Go ahead. All right. Go all ahead. right. Hold up real quick. 
Alright. What's up? Let me nah, y'all nah, nigga. Y'all nigga, y'all my man with the do-rag on. Come here real quick, white do-rag. <laughs> Come here, white do-rag on them, nigga. Boy, his do-rag shiny as shit, boy. That nigga got the white do-rag on. <laughs> What's you your at, name, Chico? gangster? Huh? What's your name? My name Brian. Brian, where you from? Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, you from, you a North Carolina nigga. All right, I live in North Carolina. That's what's up. Now, you know, I seen you over here turning up with your white do-rag on and all that. You got wave? Nah, I need a haircut. Shit, at least you honest, nigga. Nigga, your goddamn wave cap look like a hotel sheet. That shit crazy as hell. <laughs> but nah, though, you got, you got girlfriends, a lot of beautiful women in fam. You, you got a girl? Nah, I ain't got no girlfriend right now. Well, what you about to pull your dick out? Nigga, move. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that nigga hey. was about to pull his Johnson out. Chico. Yeah. Man, you gonna believe this shit. What I ain't gonna believe? Bro, guess who just pulled up, bro? Who just pulled up? Who just pulled up? Who just pulled up? You ain't gonna believe this shit, bro. Who just pulled up? You not about to believe this shit, Who just bro? pulled up? Who pulled up? Man. Uh-oh.
Shake something. This that we gonna see what fam you really about. If y'all gonna turn up a homecoming for real, in Hey, y'all gotta vote too. This bitch got a flu up here. <laughs> Before we start this shit, now keep in mind we are at a school. Don't do no crazy we shit. We are historically black college. college. This is a historically black college and university. Ain't no white people here. Yeah. But I ain't seen not one white person. Y'all know the fuck finna happen. Okay. Who? You just want her to get closer. Your You're little stupid. small head ass. All right. So we gonna kick this thing off. Hey, it's just oh, a, it's different hey, when the lights the homecoming turn up. Spread them out. Drama. Hey, what happened? That drama. Said, fam, you you can't what do what? The fuck we need the drama to give us some. That these young, that these ladies right here, oh, you can't do what they do to. Alright, no, oh, some of them, some of them, some of them, some of them, yeah, that. Alright. You want, uh. you want to come represent for your culture? You want to come represent? Come on, white girl, we're going to give uh -oh. you a chance. Hey. We're going to give you a chance. Come on, white girl. Hey. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Yeah. Do you got, do oh, you got, shit. back that ass up. You got everything else. Look at fam you, look at all these niggas. Alright. Oh, this is beautiful. Alright, here we go. Who phone this is. Here we go. Hey. Hey. Unfortunately, unfortunately, fam, you they, they, they saying we gotta, gotta go, go, right? They trying to cut us.
Hey, let's get a minute. Oh, I got you. Yes. Let me take this picture. Oh, it's like that. Oh, I got you. They can't do it like that ever again. That one is like the picture. Okay. Oh, can I get everybody out for a second? Can I get everybody that's not part of the show out for just for a few minutes? Nigga, that shit was crazy. Shut the one second. Everywhere you look, bro, this shit, this shit was crazy. Oh man, these students show. Hey man, folks, look at that. We were taking folks' phones. Real, real. I laid down to take a picture, man. You know I ain't, I ain't getting down. Listen, man. I didn't get a lot of homecoming comedy shows at HBCUs. I done been a part of a lot of homecoming comedy shows at HBCU. But what just happened in there, I ain't never been or seen no shit like Witness that. Witnessed it, right? Fam, you. Fam, you. Fam, goddamn you. All right, all right, all right. Come on, man. You know. Yeah, she repping fam. She been running around in heels all day. She brought a case of water up six flights of steps. Got her heels on, man. And this is her fourth outfit today, because girls and fam swap it up. They switch it up, man. I already know. I know. People don't know it's a necessity, though. Because you just sweated one outfit out. But you will never believe I was not planning to do this. They both right standing behind you because all the kids. I believe it. Oh, you see me grabbing? Because you handle it with grace. You got this problem, nigga. Who else you gonna get to come to your school to do a homecoming show like that? No, I mean, for real. Be scary. What I'm saying, though, Fly, you did the perfect shit. Like, what you did was perfect. What you did when you came out at the end and everybody was just like, because we already had did that shit five times throughout the show. Couldn't set it up better. Yeah. We had already had my Fuck that chick. I want to be there for the five times. <laughs> <laughs> Need to be there. No, nah, but if you would have been there, you wouldn't have got that stage yeah. 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 And we would not have that visual. Cause yeah. That shit is some rock star shit. Yeah. And so so everybody media nigga. Yeah, that shit was sick. You got that shit on camera, Craig?
Good. That shit look like some cash shit, man. That shit crazy. I got you. A nigga faint when you came out there. He was a little bit. You just sit on me. I ain't too much of a guy. I'm sorry, I'm not even being. It's not shopping. I'm so done. 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 Tell us who any pipes out there. Do you say she want to talk so bad? Boom! Can't cut this mic, dog. Hey, hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> no nah, man, this is first of all, it's a brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? This ain't really no show. This is a couple brothers who got together. You know what I'm saying? And, and started talking shit. You know what yeah. I mean? And together, I, I was just telling my people the other day, we we started this from a grain of salt. You know what I mean? Wasn't no money. We was just tracking it out. Really just talking shit and look, look what we had now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We had, what, 7,000 people out there? Yeah. Family, man, we love y'all. Family, you look my face. Yeah. 7,000? Why do y'all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you exactly how it is on set. Y'all showed us a lot of love. Y'all made us feel welcome. Uh, it made us feel like it, this was a familiar setting, man. Everybody took care of us. It was dope, man, you know. Yes. Everybody came out and showed love <laughs> to the homecoming comedy show. We got me feeling like I was Drew Hill out there. Yeah, I just, you know, like, just to piggyback off what they said, like, I've done a lot of comedy shows, homecoming comedy shows before, but... Yeah, the king of homecoming shows. Yeah, show. like, this, what we did tonight, I've never seen anything like this before. And, then, and I've never seen energy like this, I've never seen a response like this, and that kind of just, you know, uh, you know, just basically speaks to what we have here with the 85 South Show. Like, it's not, you've never seen guys who could each individually hold their own, mm -hmm. any way they go, come together and be able to put that type of energy on stage like that. So that's basically what the foundation of this is. Just like you say, just brothers getting together talking shit, but us getting together genuinely talking shit and turn into 7,000 people running around with their phones out streaming. So it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I just, it, it's dope. Like, I went to school here, so this I didn't even know first. you went to this school. You yeah, so light skinned. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. this, we, I, this is historically black. <laughs> We coming all shades. Fuck all that. You right, see us out here. Look, so fam, you doing everything. We got a Andrew Gillum. He finna win the governor thing. We got yes, Bill Packard in the thing. We got Sean Will Packard. Yes, sir. Like, like this, 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 it just breed excellence. So I'm glad y'all got to see what I've been knowing. What right. I've been knowing, and y'all got to see it firsthand. And I hope it actually felt like y'all homecoming because that's how they treated y'all. Yeah, yeah. That's how they treated like, us, yeah, for it real. felt like we went. Oh, for real talk. I'm just glad to be here representing for the ladies, you know, um, here with my brothers. They always invite me. The 85 South Show has so, showed me so much love from the beginning of my career. So I love these guys, man. I look up to them. DC, you know I love you. Get your freak ass off. <laughs> <laughs> I love these boys. There you go. Thank you. So, Thank you. And we're back, fam. You. <laughs> oh, my God. He's going to climb my whole entity, clearly. <laughs> Yo, be sweet. <laughs>